Now that we discussed what semiconductors are, let's take a look at the following example that deals with calculating the energy gap or the difference in energy between our valence band and the conduction band of our semiconductor. So determine the energy gap value that exists between our valence band and our conduction band inside a certain semiconductor. Assume that the electric conductivity of the semiconductor only increases when we shine light of a wavelength of 500 nanometers or less. So basically to describe what is taking place, let's take a look at the following diagram. So basically we have the valence band, basically the band that contains our electrons of the semiconductor and all these quantum states within the valence band are completely filled. Now the conduction band on the other hand does not contain any electron just yet. It basically contains the unoccupied energy quantum states. Now the difference in energy between these two bands is given by EG. That is known as the energy gap or the band energy gap. So basically if an electron at the top part of the valence band gains enough energy given by this quantity, the energy gap, then that electron can basically transition or jump to our conduction band. And remember, electrons only conduct electricity when they are found in our conduction band. So we see that only when we shine light of a wavelength of 500 nanometers or less does the photons inside the light actually have enough energy to give to the electron for that electron to actually transition to our conduction band from the valence band. So, if we increase the wavelength to let's say 550, then our photons don't have enough energy to give to our electron. Remember, as we increase the wavelength of light, the energy decreases. So, the semiconductor increases in electric conductivity when we shine light of this wavelength or less because only then does the light carry enough energy per photon to give to the electrons in our valence band for that transition to actually take place. And if that takes place, then electrons can basically transition between the quantum states within the conduction band and that conducts electricity. So to calculate how much energy is given by this energy gap, we simply set our gap energy equal to our energy within that photon when the light has a wave wavelength of 500 nanometers. So to calculate how much energy is found within one photon that has a certain frequency, we use this equation. We take the product of Max Planck's constant h and the frequency f. Now we don't know what the frequency is, but we do know what the wavelength is. And remember, the frequency depends on the wavelength and that relationship is given by this equation. So f is equal to c divided by lambda where c is the speed of light in a vacuum. So let's plug in our values. So H is Planck's constant. It's given by this value. C is the speed of light in a vacuum. It's given by this value and our wavelength in nanometers in meters is 500 multiplied by 10 to the negative 9 meters. So notice our meters cancel and, and our seconds cancel as well and we are left with the following amount of energy. So 3.98 times 10 to negative 19 joules or equivalently 2.48 electron volts is the energy difference known as the energy gap between the conduction band and the valence band of this particular semiconductor.